What a blessing it is to be inside the temple. Today I was able to go to the Provo Temple and do baptisms for the dead. The Spirit has really led me and taught me and comforted me a lot in these last few months. People have come up and asked me so many times, why are you so happy? There's so many wonderful things that happen in life. That's what I've learned through my trials and also through knowledge of the gospel is to enjoy the small things. My mom taught me about the gospel of Jesus Christ and about the plan of salvation and how we can be together forever. She taught me to live worthy of the temple, to make that my goal. She taught me that family is most important. On Christmas Eve, my family was coming home from a party and we stopped at the store to get some last minute Christmas shopping done. We ended up going home a different way. We got to 7th West and, and the light turned red, so we were stopped at the light. And I remember looking around the car and it was one of those things where I reflected and I just felt so grateful. You know, I looked around at, at all my children and you could see they're just, they'd all nodded off. And, and I thought of how they were thinking about Christmas and dreaming of, you know, what would be happening the next day or so. I remember feeling really confused and lost and scared. Didn't know what had happened. I wondered where my family was. He sat down and he told me what had happened. I had no idea. He said, we've been in a really bad accident. And I said, what about mom? And I just looked at him and I said, she didn't make it. There was just silence. He just sat there and thought. And then I said, what about Ian and Julie? And after a long pause, I said, neither did Ian. And neither did Julie. And he smiled. So one tear ran down his cheek. And he said, it's okay, Dad. We're still a family. And that's the way Caleb was from then till today. He understood uh, <laughs> what it was all about. The spirit that was there with me in that hospital room was incredible. And it told me through just an overwhelming sense of peace that I was going to see them again. It's not just about the here and now. It's about eternity. And a knowledge of the plan of salvation has really taught me a lot of things. I've been able to grow closer to the Savior. He can stretch our hearts and give us a greater capacity to love. The key to anything is to keep an eternal perspective. That's how I'm getting through life now and how I'll get through it in the future. What does it mean to have eternal perspective? It means to remember there are more important things than just the here and now. It means to remember that life continues after death, that the way you act and respond to things in your everyday life have eternal consequences. It also means to have your eye single to the glory of God so you can see the big picture, to see why you had to experience that certain trial, to see that all things will always be for your good, something you can learn from and be strengthened by. Temples are now more accessible than ever. Inscribed on each temple are the words, Holiness to the Lord. 
The temple is the house of the Lord, the basis for every temple ordinance and covenant. The heart of the plan of salvation is the atonement of Jesus Christ. Every activity, every lesson, all we do in the church point to the Lord and His holy house. Go to the temple so that I can uh, create a better relationship with my Heavenly Father. El templo es un lugar santo donde podemos sentir que estamos en presencia de nuestro Padre Celestial. In the temples we find a, an abundance of the Spirit of the Lord. Each holy temple stands as a symbol of our membership in the church, as our sign of our faith in life after death, and as a sacred step toward eternal glory for us and our families. I love the temple, and without the temples I can't link my family together. Families really can be together forever. They can be linked together through all the generations, and the work done in temple ordinances accomplishes that. No unclean thing may enter his hallowed house. Yet, anyone is welcome who prepares well. When I first joined the church, I used to go to the Los Angeles temple and sit down and wonder, well, in a year it'll be my time to go there. And, but I always felt a sense of peace there. Each temple is a house of learning. There we are taught in the master's way. His way is ancient and rich with symbolism. I actually have a lot of friends who have asked me about temples, so I try to explain to them how special it is and how sacred it is. We go to the temple to be taught by the Spirit. We are taught about eternal principles. I learned definitely more about the Savior, Jesus Christ, and His role in my life. Teachings of the temple are beautifully simple and simply beautiful. They are understood by the humble, yet they can excite the intellect of the brightest minds. The temple helps us to grow, to learn, to perfect. The temple is a house of learning. It's a place where we go to commune with God, but it's a place where we go to receive instruction, to come to know Him better. And to be able to be taught in such pleasant surroundings is just a tremendous blessing in our lives. I have learned that temple blessings are most meaningful when death takes a loved one away from the family circle. Death cannot sever families sealed in the temple. They understand death as a necessary part of God's great plan of happiness. It's a bridge between us and our, our family that is on the other side. Temples are a blessing to the people, uh, not only those that are here, but those that have gone on before us. The temple for me is a place where I can go to receive direction for my life. It stands as a reminder to me of the eternal blessings that I can have in my life.